A Megs asked the question, could a number of SATs create a MAT effectively in name only, satisfy the DFE coercion yet still remain 100% school level control? Uh, you see, I mean, uh, uh, and that stopped years ago. It was an, called the Umbrella Trust, and Umbrella Trust ah. were exactly that. Now, yeah, yeah. Umbrella Trust were flavour of the month. I mean, obviously, when we converted, you could only convert as a SAT. Then all of a sudden, we had Umbrella Trust quite early early doors. And within two years, the Umbrella Trust kind of ended because the DfE didn't like the fact that it was very informal. So you create an umbrella above four or five single academy trusts who were still operating individually still had their own funding agreements, still had their own um, um, articles of association. And all they did was come together to create an umbrella and put some money in for economies of scale. And then when something went wrong, that trust stopped, stopped working with them. So the DfE didn't like informality. They wanted formality. So it stopped. But the guy can still have what he wants, Bex, because he can still create a multi-academy trust with other SARS. And what they can then do is they can devolve as much autonomy as they want via the scheme of delegation yeah. and have each school, each SAT, yeah. with the same number of people who become trustees, what people asked us, but they were a failing maintained school and we weren't. So they can have that. So in reality, there's a way round what AMEGS wants. Mm. If you've got all the same take number. the RSC's box. Yeah, if you've got the same number of votes around the table for each school, then that's always a good start. But essentially, I mean, creating the, the multi-academy trust is you've got to be really careful in terms of, your, you know, when you talk about the delegation, I mean, you've got to, a CEO should be anchoring the success of the schools. So your appointment of your CEO is absolutely key to anybody forming. That Which problem. is where that's going to struggle, Kerry. That's where, yeah. where it's going to struggle, because if you've got yeah, five... Battle of Who's going to be that CEO? Yeah. Mm. Who's going to be that CEO? Is it going to be one of the heads? Because that's where yeah. does, does perception, do the optics then appear that his or her school are the lead school? Yeah, yeah. That, what, and that, what, that's where your fight comes, for executive yeah. head, your CEO. And, and, and when, you've got, when you've got parity across, whether it's two, three, four schools, and they want that whole autonomy we do talk about autonomy and i think it's really important but you, there is a slight a small loss because you've got to have one central ceo one executive head teacher over that and and they've got to come from somewhere so whether they come from in or they're completely appointed or external there's going to be a change there's going to be a shift across those schools whether they like it or not in some respect so there is you, you do you do feel change Utopia there, Kerry, would be that, let's say there was um, a person who could be the CEO who was known to all of those single academy trusts, and all those single academy trusts accepted that that person, it could, let's say it was Mark, and now all of them respected Mark and thought, Mark, yeah. you've got, you, 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 you would do right for all of our schools. Yeah. In that respect, it could still be parity, it could still be equality with the same number of trustees, the person that they want as a CEO who works for all of the schools. And 90 odd percent of autonomy devolved by the scheme of delegation to each school, which actually ticks many of that, that AMEGS's boxes, but it would also tick an RSC's box and still become a founder school in the new map. So it, it's doable, yeah. but it would be a utopian set of circumstances where they could actually achieve that. Yeah. Yeah. And it comes back to, I know it's, we're a bit like a broken record, but it comes back to the people, doesn't it? Yeah. Who sits at, who's your CEO? Who's your executive head seat? you know that it all comes back to the right people and that integrated thinking because if you that's the only way it's going to work and you're going to sustain definitely